Hi everyone, this is Sean Blackwell. In my last video, I shared with you a new approach to healing your bipolar disorder, an approach which forms the foundation of my new Bipolar Awakenings Healing Retreat. If you remember, this approach brings together the most useful parts of psychiatry, psychology, the peer support movement, and shamanism, creating a truly integrative healing program. In this video, I'll focus on the preparation necessary for taking this retreat, demonstrating how those different components come into play. But before we talk about preparation, it's important to take a look back at a few underlying assumptions. To start, as I explained in my video, How Kundalini Affects Bipolar Disorder, the root cause of bipolar disorder is not found in the biological brain, but come from repressed or blocked bioenergetic material, or kundalini, which appears to reside in our chakra system. A system which has not been found by materialist science, but has been validated by mystics around the world for hundreds of years. The material itself is largely composed of emotional content from life trauma, but may also include traumatic events from our birth, as well as energies from more controversial dimensions of our existence, such as past lives. The general idea is that if enough of our bioenergetic material is released, the disorder will resolve itself. In other words, the work you're doing while you're on our retreat primarily involves working with your other side, your spiritual dimension. That's what makes this work mostly shamanic in nature. It involves trusting an inner spiritual force, or inner healer, as Dr. Stan Groff calls it, which is powerful, intelligent, and completely natural. As a result, the work itself isn't rocket science. Actually, it's remarkably simple. But you do need to be open and trusting to what can be a strange and difficult journey sometimes, a journey to a place so deep within yourself that most people don't even believe it exists. So to get you prepared for this shamanic inner journey, we'll also need the help of psychiatry, psychology, and peer support. Let's start with psychiatry. With psychiatry, our approach means that we simply don't touch your medications. So far, our clients have had no problem staying on their meds while we work together. Not only does staying on your meds help reduce the risk of you entering into a crisis situation, but it also means that there should be no conflict with your family or psychiatrist regarding your desire to do the retreat. Once you've returned home, you can talk to your psychiatrist about reducing your meds slowly. If you continue to do well, you should eventually be able to talk him down to no meds at all. On any journey, it's always great to have a map. And in our case, the map comes from transpersonal psychology. Along with providing a more optimistic framework for understanding bipolar disorder, transpersonal psychology is also able to interpret many different aspects of your disorder in a much more positive way. That's why in preparation for the healing retreat, you should review all of my bipolar or waking up slideshow videos. Having this intellectual base will make you more open and trusting to your healing process because you'll have a far deeper understanding of what you'll go through on our retreat. From the peer support movement, we borrow one very important thing, a peer. Anyone attending our retreat must bring someone with them who is wholly supportive of what we're doing together. This person could be a partner, a close friend, or relative, but parents are usually not a good idea as the emotional ties within the family can create a stressful environment, even if they believe in what we're doing. Your supporter has three important roles in our retreat. First, they serve as a partner, so that you don't need to go through this alone. They should be someone that you can reach out to before, during, and after the healing retreat, as there may be bumps along the way at any point in this process. Second, they're a witness to all we do together. In this way, your supporter provides a certain level of security for both you and I. As you'll see, this work can be very intimate, and there may be some physical contact, but as long as your supporter is in the room, you can be sure that nothing inappropriate is happening. Third, only if you ask for it, the supporter can provide you with intimate support and closeness during the healing work. During this process, you may want a hug or a loving touch from someone you deeply trust. In that case, your supporter may be the one you turn to. One other important part of your peer support is, well, me. While I'm the facilitator of the retreat, don't forget that I've already been in the psychiatric hospital myself. When we work together, we're peers first, partners in the journey before anything else. 
And being partners is important that you get to know me as much as possible prior to the retreat starting so that we feel some sense of connection even before we meet in person. That's why my book, Am I Bipolar or Waking Up, is essential reading prior to us working together so that you can know my story. It's available as a free PDF on my website. In addition, we'll have a number of Skype sessions prior to the retreat for me to learn more about your life and for us to get to know each other better. Along with the support of people helping you on this journey, we also need a supportive location. Some of the work we do requires total silence, but then other times we play loud music and make a lot of noise. Because of the level of concentration and sensitivity involved, interruptions can also be very disturbing to the work. As a result, having nosy neighbors, barking dogs, noisy kids, or stressed out parents nearby can be a serious problem. That's why the work should not take place in your home. We have a perfect location here in Brazil which has plenty of space and privacy, and being surrounded by nature doesn't hurt either. You can see more about our retreat site in Brazil in this video. However, if you prefer to do the work closer to your home, I am open to travel. It's just that any location we work in must have the space and privacy that we need. Now that you're fully prepared for the Bipolar Awakenings Healing Retreat, let's get to the good stuff. Our healing techniques, that's up next. <laughs> 